How's it going, YouTube? Uh, back again with another review, although this marks a special review. Uh, this is my 50 subscribers video uh, for gas mask collecting. Um, there will be one for Ghostbusters. I have all you fans covered, no need to fret. But today I will be reviewing the M42 gas mask. Now, uh, this is a part of the M40 series. Um, there we go. Some of its characteristics. It's got eye lenses, um, a uh, voice emitter with a microphone jack, the XL valve cover with the XL valve, the drinking tube, the canister or C2A1 filter. The difference between the C2 and the C2A1 is that uh, one's slightly green, like this one, and the C2A1 does not contain chromium. On the side here, you can see that there's the secondary voice emitter, and um, it has the tinted lenses and then obviously the chemical protective hood which is the quick doff hood um, in my opinion the quick doff hood isn't that great but um, it's uh, it's what I was given um, there's kind of a funny story about this mask but I'll get into that later see the inside here a little bit it's green silicone and you can see the um, Oral nasal cup, drinking tube, the inside of the voice emitter, and all that good stuff. This is size medium and was made in 1994. Now, it's kind of funny. Um, I was. Uh, so, the M42 is designed for armored vehicle or air crew. Um, so, like tanks and all that stuff. So, that's why it has these microphones in it. But. Um, it was actually supposed to be converted back over and uh, <clears throat> it uh, has the new conversions with the old second skin uh, you know so it's black um, it's got the beetle rubber second skin on there uh, how it's just normally green silicone um, so that's it for the mask now let's move over to the carrier Here's the carrier for it. There's actually a, spe a specific designed carrier for it. So if you ever get one of these and your carrier doesn't look like this, it should have this piece in the bottom for the uh, filter to hang out at. And then there's the side for the uh, decontamination kit. There's the ID window, the atropine pouch. Here's a tag. Um, the tags number is 55 as you can see right there and you could clip it to your belt or just wear it around your waist uh, well there's a couple ways that you can wear it um, and then moving on the inside there's two pouches and or two pouches and one pocket and uh, with this mask I also got a bunch of accessories like the uh, well here's the package for the tinted ones they're unissued since, or unopened since December of 1994. So here's are the lenses that were on it when I got it. So these tinted ones are actually new. And then here's the operator's manual. And. Uh, the guy included this little piece of paper which has um, all of its uh, the uh, time and what was worked on and when it was. So the last time that this was worked on was the 18th of April of 2004. Uh, it says after operations check um, cleaned and uh, PMCS and it took a duration of 20 minutes. Um, this is just the military paperwork for it. Um, and also came with uh, the uh, microphone jack. Uh, there's something very, very funny about this mask. So, um, or I'll go into how I got this. So, I was looking for gas masks, uh, looking to trade some of my Vietnam field gear. And a guy uh, messaged me on Facebook telling me that uh, he had one of these that he'd be willing to trade for my two quart uh, early style canteen pouch. I, w I was on board with it and um, he didn't tell me that it was coming with all this information about it. Um, but it's a 
printed letter and see all that good stuff. I'll read it to you. So uh, this is the 10th of March 2016. Um, the subject, the province of the M42 protective mask converted to M40 tag number 55. So it is this one. The protective mask that is being presented to me, Nick Kachutin, is an M42 protective mask that was converted for use as an M40 gas mask since the unit no longer possessed the M1A1 Abrams main battle tank. Making the use of this mask as the M42 invalid. So pretty much after the, uh, the unit no longer owned the, M or the tanks, they didn't need any of these microphones. So the supply guy said screw it and took the um, the hose that the filter connects to in the belt and just left all the microphones in it. That's what makes this mask really neat. And then it also says, this mask was assigned to the 3rd Platoon Bravo Company of the 2nd Battalion of the 112th Armor of, Te or, uh, Armor of the Texas Army National Guard in 2004. The 49th Armor Division or flagged to the 36th Infantry Division. When the battalion's tanks were turned in for Humvees, all M42 masks were converted back to M40s. The battalion was mobilized for service in, I in, I or in Iraq in June of 2004. This mask with the tag number of 55 was assigned to um, uh, Harrington. Uh, I'm not going to say, just kind of leave it at that. Um, who was the uh, company's armor and a member of the 3rd platoon. He was this guy's uh, battle buddy and they also shared a section of the same tent and were really good friends I got this from. Um, so yeah, that's what, like I said, what really makes this mask cool is that it was supposed to be converted back to the M40 so the supply guy was supposed to take off the microphones and stuff and he never did. Um, which makes this mask really unique. And then um, also says, this mask did go to Iraq with us. After we were arrived at Camp uh, Tequeldum in Al Nabar province, <clears throat> and it was determined that the NBC, or the Nuclear Biological and Chemical Threat, was little to no. Our masks were, or er, our masks and J list suits, which is just the NBC suit. <clears throat> were either stored under our racks or on the railings of our beds. When we returned to the United States and demobilized, the M42 masks were collected for disposal and new M40 masks were issued to the unit. Seeing that the masks were being thrown away, I asked the supply sergeant if I could keep a few. He allowed me to do so, and Harrington's mask was one of the ones that he was able to recover. And now it's being passed to me. This was all for over a trade. Um, and this is really amazing. I got a lot of cool stuff with this. Uh, when he, I didn't know that he was typing out this paper. So when I got the package, I, I read it. I was like, wow, this guy put a lot of work into it. Uh, which is really nice. Um, and something that I hold dear to me. Uh, but... Um, so that's almost it for my uh, 50th subscriber video. Um, in case you guys don't know a little more background information about this mask, it was designed to replace the US M17A2 field protective mask, which I have a video of on my channel. Go check that out. As you can see, it looks very similar in the eyes. And if you see the XM40 pictures, um, they look a lot similar too. And while the Army and the Marines used this gas mask, the M40 series, the US Air Force and the US Navy were using the MCU-2P series. Now this one is my Scott MCU-2P. Um, go check that review out. Uh, in case if you guys don't know, these fell apart pretty quick and are kind of rare. But um, yeah. So, this is it for uh, the 50 subscriber video. Uh, again, uh, I want to say thanks to you guys for uh, 
being along there with me. Uh, I know that uh, I've been doing this channel for about three months now, and um, it's escalated quite a bit, I think, quicker than I would have thought. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a nice day.